Hi there, in this video I'm going to use the Keep Their Tractor Going project to demonstrate how you can give extra life to your player or revive your player by watching a rewarded video ad, but I'll set it up in a way that you can use any other method for giving extra life if you would like. So the last tutorial that I did on this project was actually displaying the rewarded video ad and I got a request to use this project to demonstrate how to do the revive method and I'll be showing it using Bolt. If you want to see how to set up Unity ads with Bolt, I'll leave the link to those videos in the description. I did use Unity ads for this setup, but if you want me to make a tutorial with AdMob, be sure to mention that in the comments and I'll see what I can do. So currently when you hit a tree, I display an ad and this is actually a rewarded video ad. If I click close right now, you can see that I get a message. Here is a reward for you. But what I want to do is instead of displaying that ad right up front to have an option that if you click on get extra life is actually going to display that video and revive the character. So let's go and start by setting up that revive button and that will be in our game over UI. So I'll turn it on so I can see it and let's go to scene and find that game over object. Now, right now, what I have is if you click on this area where the game over is, it actually restarts the game. But I want to add another option for reviving. So let's go ahead and duplicate this game over, move it up a little bit. This is going to be extra life. So I'll rename that, make the height a little bit smaller. So I'm going to set up something real quick. There we go. Extra life green. Now I'm going to go to edit graph. I had a graph on the game over that was doing on pointer click and it was loading the main scene and setting the scale. That's how I started the game. And so instead, what I want to do here is show that rewarded video. Now that logic is currently inside of the player and let's go in the player graph. And right here, right after the game over, I'm going to go over through the game over logic in a bit because I think I have not covered that in the tutorials. But after the game over, this is the logic for displaying the rewarded video. And I want to move it from here to the extra live option that I just added. So let's go back to this graph, paste it here and connect it on pointer click. We can quickly test that. So disable the game over UI, click play. So I get a game over screen. I don't get that rewarded video ad. And if I click on extra life, it should show me the reward video. And there you go. That looks like it's working. Now, if I click close, it should say here is a reward for you. That looks pretty good. Works so far. So now I can go where this message is being displayed and it's inside of this ads in here. And what I want to do is instead of displaying this message, let's remove it from here. I'll trigger a custom event, trigger custom event and the event in the name. Let's do revive. The custom event is going to be connected on my player. So I'm going to go and find my player right there. So now we should be able to create a custom event that's going to revive our player. Let's go to our player flow graph. And for reviving, let's add that custom event. We'll name it revive. The process of reviving your character will depend on how your game over logic works. I'll walk you through the process, how my game over logic works. And there is one important thing about the game over, and it is you don't want to actually destroy your character. You can disable your character, but you want to leave the option of enabling the character back. And that's the exact approach I'm going to take here. So the game over logic, how it works here. If I collide with an enemy, that's how you lose in this game. I instantiate an explosion. So that's just an effect of that fire. Then I relocate that tree and that's part of the recycling or object pulling that I demonstrated in this project. So that tree gets moved back and then I set this game over variable. So it's just a Boolean. Looks like I've added it later on. After I set that variable, I trigger a timer. The reason why I have a timer here is because after the timer runs out, which is one second, I set the timer scale to zero and I want the explosion effect to complete before I slow down the time. So that's the reason behind this timer and scale. After I slow down the time scale, I do a comparison of score here. And this is the logic for calculating if I got a best score right now or not and store that best score. I was doing all of this at the last minute for the game jam. So everything is a mess. 
And after saving this score, this is where I enable that game over UI. And the last thing is I disabled the tractor game object. I have the player and the tractor separate. So when I disable this tractor, the logic of the player is actually still running. And that's why I can still listen for custom events or of rewipe and all of that. So that's the logic that goes on at game over. Now, if I want to revive my character, I need to reverse some of this logic. So the parts that I need to reverse is this tractor. I need to enable it back on this game over UI. I need to disable it and set time scale back to one so that the game can continue running. And also I have to set the game over variable to false so that uh, inputs can continue. And that game over variable, I can show you where it's being used. So right here at the fix update after I get the input from the joystick and right before I start changing the position and rotation, I check if it's game over. If it is, then all of that function will be stopped. So to reverse it, it's pretty simple. So we can just copy these units right here, duplicate them, put them right there. So for the game over, I want to disable it. For the scale time, I want to set it back to one. For the game UI, want to disable it. And for the tractor, I want to turn it back on. Now, if I just leave it like that, the tractor is gonna spawn at the same spot where it actually collided and the player won't have enough time to react to what's around and probably collide again. So to avoid that, in my game, what I can do is just set transform, translate, and move the tractor back. I'll just set it to negative 10 and that's it. That's how I can implement revive in this game. So let's click play. And if I collide with the tree and I click extra life, I get this ad. If I close this ad, then you can see that it revived and I can continue with my game. If I collide again, you can click game over and restart the game like that. So I hope this tutorial gives you an idea how you can set it up in your game. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.